Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. But if you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. So I'm currently working on this new original character series where I'm creating all these different mutants that belong to this one universe that I'm writing a whole story on. If you haven't seen them already, I've created the ice cream man, the photographer, the seamstress, the farmer, the mother. And now today I'm actually going to be expanding on one of the those characters' backstories a little bit, I'm going to be talking more about the Ice Cream Man and I'm actually going to sculpt him in his form before he was turned into this crazy looking mutant guy. So when I first started, these characters were inspired by the art style of the video game Little Nightmares, but at this point it really has nothing to do with the game. I'm just sort of taking my own ideas and running with them now. So if you haven't seen the previous mutants that I've created, they're in the info card section up there and in the description box below. Be sure to take a look after you watch this video. So with all that said, if you want to learn more about the Ice Cream Man and see what he looked like before he turned into a mutant, then let's get started. All right, let's make this guy. I'm gonna bring the mutant version of the Ice Cream Man over here for reference. And then here, as always, I've got my wooden base with the holes drilled in for the armature wire. Got some small gauge wire and then some of my 12 gauge aluminum wire for the arms. Let's go ahead and start shaping out this guy's basic structure. All right, now let's secure that waist with some smaller gauged wire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some wire for the arms. That's pretty darn close, <laughs> not gonna lie. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some liquid clay adhesive, oven baked clay adhesive, whatever, bacon bond to the wire and then we're gonna bulk out his torso with some ultralight of course. I really wish this was still called bacon bond, it was much easier to say. All right now let's add our ultralight to that base. All right, the ice cream man's armature is complete. Let's go ahead and stick this in the oven and I'll be right back. All right, now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to start adding our clay for this project. I will be using Super Sculpey Original. The ice cream man, whose real name is Albert, was in fact an actual ice cream man in his early 30s. He started as a child as an assistant to his father until his father died mysteriously and Albert took over the business without hesitation. Albert wasn't a special child or anything out of the ordinary. He was really just that. Ordinary. No interesting talents or abilities. He was astoundingly average. He did love his business though.
right, now that the body's looking pretty good, let's work on those arms. These are gonna be human looking arms. They're not gonna be creepy like how they are here, of course, and then he is going to have normal hands. So let's get started on those now. Albert was so dedicated to the ice cream business and the freedom he had with it after his father died that he made an above average living for himself due to the extra hours he worked. Everyone loved him and enjoyed the music box tune that played as he traveled his route every day. In fact, Albert loved the business so much that over time, it became more of an obsession than a career. All right, so that body is looking pretty good. He's nice and neat looking. He's got normal human hands with four fingers like I always make them. And then it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. So now let's go ahead and start his head. Let's see what he looked like before he was transformed. Albert strived for perfection with every customer. If a cone wasn't perfectly symmetrical, he would throw it out and make it again. He was gravely overworked, but his addiction to his business blinded him to this reality. He was so invested that he didn't have time for a social life or relationships of any kind. It was just him and his ice cream truck. This became so severe to the point that he sold his house and exclusively lived and worked out of his truck. So the head's looking pretty good. He's got two ears. Now let's go ahead and do his hair and then add his little uniform paper hat and then we'll attach it to the body and bake him.
Over time, Albert's obsessive condition worsened, and it was starting to be noticed by his customers. He wasn't sleeping, he was barely eating, and it brought him into a zombie-like state. He became deranged and disturbed, constantly obsessing over the ice cream, making sure it was the perfect temperature, refilling the vats after making every cone. Albert was slowly losing his mind. All right, looking good. Let's go ahead and bake them. Be right back. All right, the ice cream man is out of the oven in his regular human form. And we're gonna start painting them now. All the paints, of course, that I'm using in this video are folk art brand matte acrylics. And I'm going to follow my usual procedure for painting. I'm going to paint the skin first, and I'm gonna go in and do the clothes and add any highlights and shading that I see necessary. So let's get started. Now that I've got the base color of his skin down, I'm gonna go in and add some shading, but I'm not going to put a wash on it like I normally do. I'm going to just sort of dab and dry brush a darker shade of his skin tone into certain areas. So you'll see that in a second. Um, I wanna keep it pretty smooth, very like peaches and cream looking, and I don't want the look of a wash on him. So. Let's try to do that, see how that comes out, and then if it doesn't come out good, I'll just repaint the whole thing this color again and we'll start over. <laughs> From this point forward, Albert's story becomes cloudy and shrouded in speculation. What is known, though, is that Albert changed one day into something that no one can explain. He was visited by an entity who offered him immortality and the ability to run his business better than ever for the rest of time. Albert took the offer and was changed forever. His blue eyes glazed over white and he could now see what the entity wanted him to see, and he possessed the ability to be in multiple locations at the same time. This allowed him to cover more ground and deliver more ice cream. Soon after this encounter, the ice cream ran out, and Albert became so ill and confused at the hand of the entity who transformed him that he no longer had his own free will. 
He started having visions of murders and crimes. He saw blood-stained locations and experienced a magnetic-like attraction to visit them. Soon, he started to give in, driving his ice cream truck to these places, and when he arrived, he began cleaning anything he saw. To be continued. And he's done! The human version of the Ice Cream Man is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Okay, I really enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna be honest with you, part of the reason why I wanted to do this was, of course, to give you more on the character that all of you voted as your favorite, but I also kinda wanted to prove to myself that I could do something that's not creepy and scary. So, I mean, this guy is not that creepy and scary, right? But um, I think I can still do it. I don't know, let me know what you think, of course, and then let me know if you'd like to see some more videos like this. Let me know if you'd rather see some new mutants. I really wanna keep expanding on this universe. I'm having so much fun, and I really hope you all are enjoying it just as much as I am. But as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and then follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, at of Clay. I'm also on TikTok, check me out there, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.